I'm gonna wait for this car to go by. We are leaving the mountains of Idaho, at least these ones, heading out into the flatlands. I'm gonna miss those mountains. They were a beautiful backdrop for a long, long time. Forgot to mention that today is July 1st. Happy July. <laughs> we're gonna have a great July. All we're gonna do in July is ride bikes and meet people, and see things. <laughs> and what else are we gonna <laughs> eat ice cream, eat beans? Sleep Drink under lemonade, the sleep under the stars. Yeah. Um, yeah, meet all sorts of amazing people, go to festivals. It's exciting to think that we're in Idaho now and by the end of July, shoot, who knows where we're gonna be. Oh, we got a serious wind right now. Oh my God, it's so wind, windy. Ah, but luckily, we're going that way. Right the wind has been at our back since lunchtime, and when I say it's been at our back, it's been like really at our back. <laughs> Today feels so easy and so nice, which is perfect because it's Sunday, and Sundays are supposed to be easy. We've ridden our bike 81 miles today and it's 91 degrees. And I think it's time to cool off and the only water source we can find in this tiny town is this hose behind a gas station. So, this is a gas station shower. Oh, that's cold. Oh, it all feels so good. Little gas station clean off. Now we're gonna go find a place to camp in this teeny town called Terraton. I think there's like, the sign said like 300 some people live in this town. Pretty small. And it's Sunday and the gas station is closed. We were hoping for a gas station picnic, so we're just gonna be living off of the food we bought this morning. Luckily, we still have lots of Nutella. What do you think, Alex? Should we camp here at this church? They got a lot of picnic tables. I love picnic tables. And the good Lord said that he would provide shelter for the weary. So I think we're in the right place. I don't know if we're weary though. Are we weary enough? Shh. Bean time. Dinner tonight consists of tapatio, beans, Corn tortillas, cheese, and carrots. For health. For health. It's 5.45 in the morning and the airplane just buzzed our tent. He's right at the field next door, spraying the farm. That is quite the alarm clock. That was loud as hell. We jumped. What the hell? This is definitely our earliest morning. Oh, and it's freezing. For a place that was 90 degrees yesterday, it is cold out. You can almost see your breath. Goodbye, church. Thank you for giving us a safe place to stay and an early wake up call. Those guys get close. Almost immediately this morning, we could see these jagged things way off in the distance. And I was like, are those mountains? Is it a weird cloud? And as we get closer, I've realized that those are the Tetons. Here we are riding along this lonely stretch of road and I see something glistening on the road. And it's a heads up, lucky penny. It's gonna be a good day. You know what, here's a fun fact about me. I've been collecting lucky pennies for years and I have a whole jar at home of lucky pennies that I've found all over the United States. Check it out, 
the rippling grass is back. It's so mesmerizing. I could just sit here and watch it for hours. It's kind of like watching water flow down a river. We're used to riding past farms and seeing horses and cows and stuff, but not herds of elk. We just rode up here, we're like, wait a second, is that elk? It could be reindeer. Ali says it might be reindeer. This might, yeah. I don't actually know the difference. They could fly. Hey guys, it is a very windy day. It's not quite tailwind today, it's a crosswind, so it's not that bad, but we are getting closer to the Tetons. You can see them off in the distance. They are quite the little X marks the spot for tonight's destination. Somebody please turn off the wind. This is crazy. And here we are, sitting in a field, filming grass. This is pretty exciting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you're gonna die. I have pain in my in the palms of my hands because I'm holding my handlebars like like this and that's how it's been for pretty much all day I've just been in a state of terror except for when I look at the mountains because they make me um, they put me in a state of bliss. We started out and they were just these gray pinnacles distant far off on the horizon it's like what are those things? Are we in some kind of utopian sci-fi fantasy and we're going to, you know, the promised land? It's taking us a long time to get to Driggs because we keep stopping and taking photos of the Tetons. They're so amazing. Especially when they're in the, a field of pink flowers. We have just been battling the wind and we got to this amazing apartment hooked up by our friend Christina. It's her brother, Jason. I've never even met Jason. We're in Driggs, Idaho. I'd never even heard of Driggs, Idaho. And we're so excited to be here. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. This place is very comfortable. It is. And you it's just awesome. rode 160 miles in two days. It was a lot of miles. And we slept um, out behind a church last night and got woken up by a crop dusting plane. That's right. And tonight is going to be very different. That's right. We've had a long day. <laughs> We're excited luxury. to be here. Thank, Thank you, you, Jason. <laughs> Before setting out on this trip, Ali and I had a goal of celebrating the 4th of July in small town America. And here we are, Victor, Idaho. Yeah, this town is 
very small. It says there's like 1,900 people that live in this town, but I think there's probably at least that many lining the parade course. I love the 4th of July so much. It's always been one of my favorite holidays, and it's yours too, right? Uh, yeah, 4th of July is one of my favorite holidays as well. I love the fireworks. I love the partying, the dancing in the street, um, and just, yeah, that celebration of some of that freedom and wildness of what it is to be an American. It's also a holiday I've always had kind of mixed feelings on because the foundations of this country were set in the um, theft of land and you know killing a lot of native people but try to put that aside for the day and just really enjoy some of the really beautiful things about being an American. And check out my shirt. I brought this shirt specifically for the 4th of July. Bikes, red, white, and blue. It's one of my favorite shirts. I have always been a proud American. Ever since I was a little kid and I would dress up like my favorite G.I. Joe character for Halloween. I idolized being an American hero. I idolized my grandfather who was a colonel in the army, a Green Beret. He was an Olympian in the biathlon. When I was a kid, that's what it meant to be an American. It meant to be kind of a badass. That's where my American identity comes from. And I chose not to serve in the military like my grandpa, but I did choose to join the Peace Corps. And I served my country in a different way. I lived in Honduras for two years, working with at-risk youth. And John F. Kennedy started the Peace Corps in 1961 as a way to spread good American values, to be an, an ambassador of the country. And today, everywhere I travel, I travel knowing that it's important for me to be a good American, to help not only the countries that I'm visiting, but also to share a little bit about the country that I love so much, the country that I came from, to talk about my family and my friends and my community. That to me is a really important aspect of travel. And when I leave, I want people to think of, of me. They're like, wow, you know, I get this view of America on TV and through the news, but then I met this guy named Ryan, and I have a totally different view of America. And I have really liked Ryan, so now, you know, I kind of like Americans. And that's important to me, to put on a good face for our country. Obviously, not everything our country does is good. Not everything our country has done in the past has been good, and it probably won't be perfect in the future. When I think of America, and Americans, I think of little towns like Victor, Idaho. I look at the faces of all the kids having the time of their lives, people having barbecues, families getting together, and it brings a lot of joy to me. I love celebrations, and there's a lot to celebrate in this country. We live in a place where we can make the craziest of crazy dreams come true, and I really I love that. I didn't come from much. I came from very humble beginnings and I've created a life that I truly am proud of and that I deeply love and I'm passionate about. And I think in large part it's due to being an American, to being to having the opportunities that I have living in this country. I set off on this trip a little unsure of what it means to be an American today. But in the last month, my confidence has been restored. Every person I've met in some way represents that American spirit that makes me so proud. Yeah, we're not perfect, but our core values are something to be proud of. We got a good heart. We got corazón. You know, I have friends from all over the world. I lived in Sweden for a year. I lived in Honduras. I've spent tons of time in Mexico. And I love those countries too, and I dearly love those people. So when I say I'm a proud American, I'm a proud global citizen. I'm proud to be part of this, of this world. Now I'm sounding like a hippie, but I'm serious. Like it makes me feel so good to connect with people all over the world and right here in my very own country in a little town called Victor, Idaho. I'm gonna continue the life that I've lived for so long. I'm gonna continue being very involved in my community, very involved in helping people who need help, who want help. Uh, that goes for in, in my community or, or foreign countries, down to Honduras, wherever I am. 
Uh, that's what being an American, that's what being a, a human global citizen is all about, is reaching out your hand and, and helping people. And it can be as little as putting a smile on somebody's face. That makes me feel so good. It can be an interaction that only lasts, you know, five minutes, but if I connected with somebody for that little moment, that makes me feel good. And that's what I commit to do for the rest of my life. And I'm proud of it, and I'm proud to be an American. Go red, white, and blue. Woohoo! Oh, here we go. Woo! That was awesome. Happy Fourth of July. Thank <laughs> you.